Hey guys, this is Coach Marco Robert, and thank you so much for checking my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's really personal and dear to my heart. You know, this is, I want to tell you about the very, very important lessons that I learned after losing over a million dollars. Do, 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 right? Now, seriously, guys, this is, this is, I'm making light of it today, but at the age of 30, one of my business partners literally ran away with about a million dollars of my money, right? So think about this. You know, when you're in your, when you're a kid, I was in my 20s, and then I, but before I was 30 years old, I was worth a million dollars. And I, I took my wife at the time, we ended up, uh, renting a condo in, in uh, Puerto Vallarta, you know, in Mexico on the beach, and we were hanging out. And then uh, that winter, while I was on vacation, while I was semi-retired, one of my business partners actually ran away with my money. And, uh, you know, I spent a couple of years, actually, I spent about a year going after him and he had not only stole money from me but he stole money for other people so from other people so we went and we, we tried to create a class class action suit we engaged the fbi we engaged the rcmp the royal canadian mountain police to try and catch this guy but you know it was kind of impossible to catch him so after about a year of living in under that black cloud of really negative energy you know with all my friends that have been also defrauded I basically moved to California and I left a message to my friends and I said, guys, if you can recuperate some of that money, let me know, but I need to, I need to step away from this. It was just too negative. Now, a lot of my friends were in their 50s, some of them in their 60s, so for them to lose a lot of money was a lot more impactful to them than for me. I thought, I'm 31 years old, I'll be able to rebuild my life, I'm just gonna move on, right? And I thought, I was done. I thought, you know what? It's good. I'm going to figure my life out now and I'm going to move on. And I moved to California. And uh, that's when I started my consulting practice. And, and, you know, and I felt like, you know, I was, I had moved on. But you know what's going on when you have these very traumatic things happen to you like, like that? I think what I really was thinking is I started to believe to myself, hey, maybe you're not worth it. Maybe life plays against you. Maybe you didn't deserve it in the first place. And unknowingly, unknowingly, I lowered my own standards and I started to live the life of a normal, average, ordinary people, right? And if you've heard me talk before, I talk about that all the time. I said there's only two types of human beings on this planet. On the one hand, you have normal, average, ordinary people, and that's the majority of people. And they, sadly, normal people do not create extraordinary results, right? And then you have what I call outlier entrepreneurs, and those are the people who create out extraordinary results. Well, so in my 20s, I lived the, the life of an outlier entrepreneur, and I was creating extraordinary results. But after somebody defrauded me and stole over a million dollars of my money, I just kind of uh, slid back to a normal position in life, and I was kind of like, whatever, right? Pfft, whatever. But I didn't realize that. So at the time I was building businesses and I thought, well, whatever, things are working and they're not working and whatever, right? Every Friday night I would go to the bar with my buddies and, uh, right? And then we would hang out every Sunday, watch the football game and no, I just lived a normal life. And one day, probably around 2005, so I'm probably four years into this process, right? So this happened to me in 2000. So 2001, I'm 31 years old, I moved to California. Now 2005, I'm supposed to attend a business meeting in San Jose, California. And I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dreading my life at this point. So, you know, I get in my car, I, I, I got up late, I didn't have breakfast, so I, I drive to the meeting, I arrive at the meeting, probably about two or three minutes before the meeting is about to start. So like two or three minutes to nine, 9 a.m. And everybody is already in the auditorium and they're about to start the meeting. But I see outside the, the auditorium, 
they have, you know, a station with coffee and donuts and muffins and stuff. So I grab a muffin, I pour myself a coffee, and uh, I look in that cafeteria, and it's pretty much empty, except there's one person, one man sitting by himself. It's just because of who I am, you know, instead of sitting at the table next to him, I approached the table and I said, excuse me, do you mind if I sit with you? And he said, no, please sit with me. So I'm, you know, stuffing my, my muffin down my, my mouth and I'm drinking my coffee and I'm just trying to make conversation. And I said, hey, how's it going? You know, what's your name? And he's, I don't remember his name. And I said, uh, so what do you do? Then the guy looked at me and he said, I, I help people. Oh, I said, oh, okay, okay. Well, what does that mean? What do you do? He said, I help people. I said, okay, well, I understood. But what does that mean? Are you a priest? Are you some sort of a coach? What do you do? I mean, do you help people build businesses? What do you do? I swear to you guys. The guy looked at me and he says, I help people. <laughs> so at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be able to have a conversation with this guy. He probably wants to sell me into his MLM. And, he, and I'm going to end up with way too much soap in my garage. You know, I'm thinking this is the kind of guy. But I don't know what happened, but for some reason, you know, we started to have a conversation and he engaged with me. And then he asked me, he said, so what about you? What's going on, Marco? And for some reason, I felt compelled to answer and to share my life with this perfect stranger. And I said, you know, I don't know, man. I feel like life is, life is hard. Life is heavy. You know, I feel like... Uh, Anytime I try to do something, it's not working. You know, my, my whole life has been pretty simple. You know, going through high school, you know, I was not a jock, but sports was easy. You know, girls, I, you know, I was not the most handsome guy that all the, girls, all the girls wanted to be with, but I never had any issues with girls. I never had any issues with school. My life was pretty simple most of my life. But I said, over the last few years, I felt like, Everything is heavy. I feel, like I, I feel like I'm trying to go through this door that I've gone through that door my whole life, but now the door won't open. It won't open. I'm frustrated. You know, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And I, I'm just, I don't know what to do anymore. And this guy looks at me and he says, you know, Marco, anything you've, you, no, let, me, let me say how he said that. He said, Anything you've ever wanted, you have already. Because anything you ever wanted to be, you are already. And I'm like, what? He says, anything you want, you have already. Because anything you've ever wanted to be, you are already. And I swear to you guys, I remember doing exactly this. I'm like... This is some deep shit, man. I said, I'm going to have to think about this, right? And I ran into the conference room. And I spent the day there learning about some business stuff. And I don't remember seeing that guy there again that day. Right? So I don't know if he was there, but we had a couple breaks. I did not see the guy again. I never spoke with that guy again. I cannot even see his face in my, in my memory right now. But I'm going to tell you something. You know, most of the time when I talk about this guy... And I refer to him to my fiance or my friends. I call this man the angel in the cafeteria. Because I don't know if this guy was an angel, but he was my angel. That guy completely, completely changed who I am today. Like there's not a single week that goes by where I don't think about this guy. See, when you fail in life, when somebody takes advantage of you in life, it really, really affects who you are. And then I thought that the, my, the way back to the top of the mountain was to, was basically to try to, to force control, right? And I think the more you're trying to control things, the less you are in control. And when that guy said to me, whatever you want, you have already because Whatever you, you've ever wanted to be, you are already. And I mean, I mean, it may not mean anything to you, okay? And the truth is, I've told the story to many people, and most people are like, what? That makes no sense. That makes no sense, dude. Like, do you have like a 300-meter like a yacht? No? Well, 
you don't have everything you've ever wanted. And I'm like, no, it's, that's not what it means. It's deeper than that. I honestly think that, you know, when we're born, and when we live on this planet, that, that this, this, this life is the price. You know, this is the, this is the celebration. This is what this guy taught me, that my life is not about striving and trying and trying to control the forces of nature that I cannot control. That my life is about appreciating every moment. That, that this is the prize, this is the celebration. I'm here because I chose to be here. I'm here and I'm living the life that I want to live. And through the hurdles and through the celebrations, I get to enjoy every moment because that's what I always wanted. And this is, I truly believe that, guys. This guy has completely, completely changed who I am. It's like he's rewired my brain. I don't know, I don't know if I'll ever meet this guy, but if I do, I mean, I'm going to thank him more than I've ever thanked anybody else. This guy has completely, completely reshaped who Marco Robert is. So the reason why I'm telling you the story, guys, is because you know, in life, there's always, there will always be obstacles. You know, there will always be mofos and assholes that are going to come and actually take away from you. But at the end of the day, as long as you believe that you are a whole person, as long as you believe that your experience on this planet is not just about what people do to you, but it's about how you feel about yourself, right? People will take advantage of you. That's just nature. At the end of the day, how do you feel about yourself is more important than anything else. So I hope that you enjoyed the story. I hope that this story is actually going to empower you to really find the inner strength that lays inside of you, right? I, I really hope that you can, that you can actually reconnect with the, with the purest essence of you and then that you can allow that pure essence to actually take you exactly where you're supposed to go. Guys, this is Coach Marco. I love doing these videos. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments regarding this video, please just write your comment below. I read the comments. Sometimes I even interact with you guys. So, uh, And by the way, I think there's another video that's about to start here. Or maybe it's about to start right here. Watch the next video. Guys, it's Coach Marco Robert. See you next time. Take care. Guys, this is Coach Marco Robert. Remember, if you keep on doing what you've always done, you're going to keep on getting what you've always gotten. Click on the next videos and continue your education.